Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Right, it would totally save stopping off at a store somewhere when you fly in to exactly. see the grandkids or well, nieces and nephews. Yeah, you know, it's funny. We, we, you know, we took the kids on a cruise when they were little, and the, there is a ver definite lack of toys available on board the ship for yeah. kids to play with. So, you know, we improvised, but they. All I'm picturing is just Love Boat, but now with children's toys. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. There's not a lack of weather elements this week, though. A little bit of something for everyone, right? A little something for everyone. That is actually hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Let's take a look right now. What we don't have at the moment is any rain. I know, spoiler alert, in completely new conditions, right? 4.17 p.m. and we're dry again in the Tennessee Valley. Before too long, we'll have some rain, but that day is not today. Looking beautiful, though, on the Way 31 Skycam Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. It's another day of those picture-perfect postcard views. We've got a little bit of cloud cover, but it's those white puffy cumulus clouds. We've got blue sky and conditions are looking fine, just fine for us. As we head through the rest of this evening, temperatures will gradually fall by 7 p.m. We're sitting at 80 degrees and then we'll have a mostly clear night tonight. Now, when we're clear overnight, meaning the lack of cloud cover, that means that we get cooler. Clouds at night act as a blanket. So when we take those clouds away, well, we let some of that heating escape, which is why when you first wake up on Tuesday morning, we'll be waking up in the 50s. 59 first thing on uh, first thing on Tuesday in Huntsville, 59 in Haleyville and 58 over in Gunnersville. So you might want a light jacket or just a long sleeve shirt as you head out the door first thing on Tuesday, but you won't want it for long. So dress in layers. Your high temperature for the day, 90 degrees, which is nine degrees above average for this time of year. So yet another day of more summer than fall. And we're going to keep that sunshine on Tuesday as well. However, by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, I'm tracking some major changes. It's all cloud cover on Thursday and then a cold front that's bringing some rain into the forecast on Friday and it's also going to bring fall right here to the Tennessee Valley. Take a look at the next three days. I'm going to go ahead and warn you if you're someone who struggles from allergies or aches and pains when the weather changes, these are the days that you're probably going to be looking at for your heavy hitters. It's 89 and it's very much summertime on Wednesday with sunshine, cloud cover, isolated spots of rain and 85 on Thursday and then scattered storms 80 and raining on Friday. So a whole lot of weather happening in a very short amount of time. Now I'll go ahead and tell you our future radar outlooks are in a bit of disagreement about exactly how much rain we'll see. What I'm telling you is if you're in the shoals, you can expect to see more rain. If you're in Sand Mountain, you're likely going to be very cloudy, but stay primarily dry. In the shoals, we'll start to see some rain on Thursday afternoon and into the evening but it really is just rain. It's not storms and it's not very strong, so don't be expecting a washout. We're dry for much of the day on Friday and then we'll start to see a little bit of rain come into the forecast later in the morning, but then it's gone by later in the afternoon. So most of the time when cold fronts come through, we track some pretty serious storms. That's not so much the case with this system. We'll see a little bit of rain, but not very much. In fact, I wish we'd see more. Several of us, almost all of us, in fact, are in a drought in North Alabama in southern Tennessee, the vast majority in that level one, a few of us in Sand Mountain in a level two drought. So if you do have a garden, even though we're expecting a little bit of rain later this week, go ahead and make sure that you're the one that's still watering those plants so that they get what they need. All right, now here's a little bit of good news. The pollen count is lowering, so officially entering into fall. The dew points are going down and so is the pollen count. By the time we get to Friday, those temperatures feeling real good and uh, we're also going to be feeling a whole lot better and a whole lot less sniffly because we're going to have less ragweed in the air. Like we talked about, something for everyone in this 10-day forecast. Sunny and 90 tomorrow, sunny and 89 on Wednesday. Isolated storms a little bit cooler. That cold front moves through on Friday. Saturday, when you wake up, we're waking up in the 40s. That's right, you heard that. And then your high temperature on Saturday, 72 degrees and sunny. Should be a great day for a hike. 40s? Yes. Been a while. I know. I did the math on that three times because I didn't believe myself the first time. <laughs> yes, we are all here for it. But it's true. <laughs> Thanks, Grace.